Seven strangest facts about semen volume. Let's be honest, this isn't a topic you bring up over brunch. But the truth is, semen volume is one of the most under-discussed, over-misunderstood things about male biology. And no, we're not covering the same recycled advice about hydration or zinc supplements. These are the weird ones. The ones that even science raises an eyebrow at. If you've ever wondered what's going on down there, or why things sometimes feel different, you're in for a ride. 1. Your brain might be quietly rationing your supply. Here's something most guys never hear. Your mental state can influence your physical output. And we're not just talking performance. We're talking volume. High cognitive load and chronic stress don't just tank your mood. They can actually suppress your body's ability to produce semen. Why? Because your system starts prioritizing survival over reproduction. It's like your brain's going, we're in crisis mode. This isn't the time to make babies. So while you're powering through deadlines and decision fatigue, your testicles might be hitting pause on production without you even realizing it. Two, your testicles remember, and they don't forget easily. It's not officially called testicular memory, but that's basically what's happening. If you go through a period of intense stress, fever, malnutrition, or even a bad flu, your reproductive system takes notes, and those notes can stick around, sometimes for months. Because sperm production isn't a quick process, it takes about 72 days per cycle. Any disruption can echo across multiple rounds. So even after you're feeling better, your semen volume might still be recovering. Think of it like a factory that shut down for repairs. And now it's cautiously rebooting at half speed. 3. Competition makes your body weirdly generous. Here's where things get biologically petty. Some studies in evolutionary psychology suggest that when men are exposed to perceived sexual competition, like images of attractive rivals or scenarios involving partner infidelity, their bodies may increase certain reproductive outputs, not necessarily in sheer volume, but in quality, like sperm count and motility. It's a biological flex. Your body sees a challenge and decides to put its best foot, or swimmer, forward. So while the total volume might not explode, the content gets a serious upgrade. Who knew biology had such a flair for drama? 4. High-dose caffeine doesn't just wake you up. You've heard that coffee boosts alertness. But in higher doses, it might be waking up something else, too. Research suggests that men consuming over 400 milligrams of caffeine daily, roughly four cups of strong coffee, may see improvements in reproductive health, including testosterone sensitivity and sperm motility. While the jury's still out on whether caffeine directly increases semen volume, the downstream effects on hormone levels and circulation definitely set the stage. Basically, it doesn't fill the tank, but it may fine-tune the fuel system. 5. The left testicle might be putting in overtime. Here's a fun fact you probably never asked for. The left testicle often hangs lower than the right. That's due to vascular structure, and it might not be just an aesthetic choice. Some evidence suggests the left side has slightly better cooling efficiency and blood flow, which could mean better sperm conditions. While there's no universal rule that says it produces more semen, in some men, the asymmetry might not be purely cosmetic. So yeah, next time you're acknowledging your boys, maybe give the left one a little extra nod. 6. It doesn't always add up the longer you wait. You've probably felt it before. The longer the break, the bigger the finale. But here's where perception tricks you. Yes, semen volume does increase with abstinence, but only up to a point. After about two to three days, the increase starts to plateau. What does build is pressure, sensitivity, and the intensity of the orgasm, which creates the illusion of more. It's like blowing up a balloon and thinking it's heavier just because it's tighter. The actual volume may not change much, but the experience? Yeah, that can feel way more intense. 7. Cold showers don't kill the mood. They might actually prep it. You've probably heard the old myth, cold showers reduce libido. But recent research paints a different picture. Short bursts of cold exposure, think cold showers, cold plunges, can improve testosterone circulation, reduce inflammation, and support overall reproductive function. While it's a stretch to say they directly increase semen volume, they definitely improve the environment where semen is made. It's like giving your reproductive system a brisk reset. So instead of cooling off your urges, you might be quietly optimizing your output. So what does all this mean? Semen volume is like the stock market, volatile, influenced by dozens of hidden factors, and misunderstood by almost everyone. It's not just about how often you release or what supplements you take, your stress levels, competition cues, coffee intake, cold exposure, and even which side hangs lower all play a role. Science doesn't always explain these things with a neat little bow, but what it does show is that your body is paying way more attention to your environment than you probably think.